Now this web series is based on the bestseller by the name Shantaram. So we want to understand if there was anything that any of the characters said and you were completely in disagreement with what they said. Oh wow, what a great question. Um I mean I mean they certainly say things that, you know, I don't agree with uh, throughout it. It's hard to pick one out, you know, but I think as a writer, you're always, you know, you're being true to the character in the world. I mean, obviously it's a show with uh, crime and uh, lots of uh, excitement and uh, misbehavior. So there's definitely things there that uh, at times the characters are saying I wouldn't uh, agree with. But, you know, we also did, a, you know, a lot of research into um, Bombay at the time. My production designer, um, you know, was there in the 80s and so knew how the city looked. So, you know, was he was fantastic in, you know, trying to make sure that the Bombay yes. we put up there, um, you know, reflected uh, how it was uh, back in the 80s. And did it never cross your mind to actually have author Gregory play a part in the web series? I mean, he was an actor who's done Bollywood films back in the 80s. Yeah, well, he's... Um, uh, that, we did, we never talked about it. I mean, it's. Uh, I know he uh, loved his time uh, back then. Um, I think he's so um, involved in his music right now. You know, he has so many things going on. Would have been. Uh, it would have been hard to find time in his schedule. Hi, Steve. This is Divya Path from CNN News 18, and thank you for joining us today. Hi, great to meet you. Yes, yes. Now, Steve, you know, as a writer, it's very important uh, to have your characters say things that you necessarily do not agree with. Now, this web series is based on the bestseller by the name Shantaram. So we want to understand if there was anything that any of the characters said and you were completely in disagreement with what they said. Oh, wow. What a great question. Um, I mean, I mean, they certainly say things that, you know, I don't agree with uh, throughout it. It's hard to pick one out, you know, but I think as a writer, you're always, you know, you're being true to the character in the world. I mean, obviously it's a show with uh, crime and uh, lots of uh, excitement and uh, misbehavior. So there's definitely things there that uh, at times the characters are saying I wouldn't uh, agree with, but it's hard, it's hard to pick one out, um, pick one out specifically. So were there any portions uh, that you had to rewrite for the web series because again you weren't in agreement with how it was uh, shown in the um, novel or because you thought you know, they weren't fully developed? Well I think you know that I mean always with adaptation you know you're, you're adapting a, a written piece into, yes. into, into television so there's always a process mm -hmm. there anyway. I mean the biggest thing with this was simply that the book the book is written as a first person narrative and um whereas in the show we we take it into a more multi pov version so rather than always only ever seeing the story with lynn we go off with the other characters and give them their own points of view so that's probably the biggest difference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about, um, you know, this toxic portrayal or let's say misrepresentation of Muslims in international projects? I mean, we've seen projects where Muslim characters are either shown as very negative or they're completely non-existent. Um, I don't know how well qualified I am to talk about it, to be honest. I mean, um, we don't really get into... Um, religion or politics in the show in, in a big way. It's a big escapist show. So, you know, it's not it's not something I've uh, given a lot of thought, I have to be honest. And did it never cross your mind to actually have author Gregory play a part in the web series? I mean, he was an actor who's done Bollywood films back in the 80s. Yeah, well, he's... Um, uh, that, we, did, we never talked about it. I mean, it's... Uh, I know he uh, loved his time... Uh, back then um i think he's so um involved in his music right now you know he has so many things going on would have been uh, it would have been hard to find time in his schedule how much have you understood uh the city and india through the series um i've certainly learned a lot more than i knew um before uh, before i started you know and obviously the the sort of north star for the show was was greg's book which 
you know, is obviously based on his life, but is also a novel, is a fiction. But, you know, and I, I kind of love the, the Casablanca, the city of exile sort of romantic uh, version that Greg had uh, delivered in the book, which was sort of what we were delivering. But, you know, we also did a, you know, a lot of research into um, Bombay at the time. My production designer, um, you know, was there in the 80s and so knew how the city looked. So, you know, was he was fantastic in, you know, trying to make sure that the yes. Bombay we put up there, um, you know, reflected uh, how it was uh, back in the 80s. And it was lovely chatting with you. Thank you for your time. And this is definitely one series that we will be recommending to all our viewers. Great. Thanks so much for your time.